Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again for this week, Microsoft has started rolling out their latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25262. And this latest preview build was made available to the Dev Channel Insiders on the 9th of December. Now over and above a whole lot of different fixes, which is quite common for Microsoft to roll out in the early preview builds, Microsoft has also made a couple of new changes and improvements, which I thought we could take a quick look at if you were interested in this video. And I'll also leave a link in the description to the release notes in case you would like a bit more in-depth look at what um, fixes have rolled out to the dev channel for this week. Now, the first um, change and improvement is regarding the widgets board. And if we just take a closer look at the screenshot provided, um, in the most recent update for widgets, and Microsoft has removed the sign-in requirement, as we can see, for the widgets board and making it available now for all users, which is not the case in the current stable version of Windows 11. So according to Microsoft, um, without having to sign in now, you can now get weather updates on the taskbar, pin widgets from your favorite apps or access personalized dynamic feed without an account now in this latest Insider Preview Build 25262. And then uh, the next improvement is a media player update that has rolled out to the Dev Channel Insiders. And this is just a minor update, but nonetheless a significant update if you are going to be using media player in the future, where um, the latest uh, media player update has now uh, brought the ability to browse through your video library by folders. So you can browse through your um, video library using those folders, which I think is a nice handy feature and a nice move in the right direction. Now, the next two improvements, I'm actually just going to refer back to the stable version, um, but I'm sure you will get the general idea. Now, the Quick Assist app, as many of you may know, uh, is a remote assistance um, tool and a little app that I have featured previously on this, on this channel which enables two people to share a computer over a remote connection so that one person can help solve problems on the other person's computer remotely. Now, um, this has received a bit of an upgrade in build 25262, not the app itself, but if we head over to the settings app, the system page, and the troubleshooter page in build 25262 now, and Microsoft have added a link to, uh, to the Quick Assist app at the bottom of the settings system troubleshooters page to help if you're having issues with your PC. And I actually think that's a nice handy change because um, the Quick Assist app is actually unknown to a lot of users. And I think if it does actually uh, get featured here on the troubleshooting page in the future, it might um, just you know help a lot of users solve a, a couple of computer problems in the future by using that remote Quick Assist app, which I think is a nice move once again in the right direction. And then just to mention the fourth and final change in build 25262 and this is actually a hidden feature so if we head back to the system page this was once again spotted by the windows enthusiast phantom of earth over on twitter and if we head to the um the system settings page display and we just scroll down to advanced display a hidden feature has now been spotted where you can automatically manage color um for the apps which will be and is located as a hidden feature in this vicinity in that latest preview build. And basically what it does is that um, auto color management makes sure your apps and other content have accurate colors on this display. Um, and that's basically taken from a screenshot provided by Phantom of Earth. And um, when this automatically managed color for apps is on, um, it could use more power. And um, so that's a hidden feature at the stage. And it is quite possible that this hidden feature um, will become um, available as an official feature like a lot of the hidden features do so um, automatically manage color for your apps now a hidden feature in build 25262 on that advanced display page so that's just a couple of quick mentions regarding what's new in build 25262 for this week which started rolling out to the dev channel insiders on the 9th of december so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one